Corey, thanks for being with us. Uh, despite the fact that you guys don't seem to be um, completely clicking offensively, you're still putting up a bunch of runs. What does that mean to, to you, knowing that you guys have done so well already and some guys still need to get going? Yeah, you know, this is a, this is a really good lineup we have here. Um, it's really deep, whether it's all of us out there, bench throughout, you know, one through nine, one through 15, however many position players we have now, it's, it's, it's an impressive group. And to be able to score when you're really not kind of passing the baton like we always talk is, it's impressive. You know, it just, it shows to our depth. Summer camp does not seem to be a fleeting moment of success for you. You've carried that offense into this regular season, a, a tremendous amount of hard hit balls going to all fields, opposite way. What does it mean to you to be able to continue to have that success? Um, yeah, you know, obviously you're, you're really happy with it. Um, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a body confidence thing. I think, you know, just, just feeling better, better, feeling stronger, being able to kind of make things, uh, make moves that I want to be able to make. And it's, it's showing, you know, and just hopefully you can kind of keep it going. Defensively, do you feel lighter on your feet? I mean, you seem, you seem trim, but also in shape and strong, uh, and the ability to still have the movement defensively that you want. Yeah, you know, I, I think I just kind of feel better in general, um, just body, you know, whether it's the field hitting, regardless, you know, just I feel back to normal and excited to just kind of be out there again. What have you noticed as you've uh, seen more and more of Mookie Betts as, as a teammate now in this regular season? I realize that he's missed the last four games, but he is back in there tonight. Yeah, um, he's an extremely good player. You know, you, you know that you, you've seen that you played against him, but to kind of see it every day, see the little things he does, taking extra bases, his throws from the outfield. Um, he just kind of does everything right, you know, and he, and he does everything really well at the same time. So it's it's kind of the best of both worlds, and it's really fun to watch. Finally, for me, Corey, do you feel like this could be a special year for you, considering knock on wood, you are, you are healthy and you feel great? Yeah, you know, I I think it's going to be a good year for us, regardless. You know, like you said before, we're not really clicking and we're still winning games. So when everything gets rolling and everything gets back going to normal, it should be a lot of fun to watch. Okay, thanks, Corey. Thank you. Next question from Dave Basse. Go ahead, Dave. Hi, Corey. Uh, it seemed like your teammates going back to Arizona noticed that you were kind of back to who you were a few years back. Did you have that same feeling too? Um, you know, I, I just feel good in general. Um, whether it's back to what you were, whatever. You know, I, I just I feel really confident in my body. I feel really good just getting out there again and being able to do what I what I want to do. In this day and age of uh, teams wanting players to see more pitches, how how proud are you of the fact that you've been able to maintain your approach and show that you can be aggressive and have success? Um, you know, it, it's it's something I've always done. Um, you know, you mess around. You have certain guys where you're not as aggressive. You know, you have certain moments where you're not as aggressive. But just in general, you know, you're up there ready to hit. Um, these guys in this league are pretty good. You know, you, you never know when the best pitch is going to be the first, the second, the fifth, you know. So you just kind of got to be ready at all times. Was that nine pitch at bat in San Diego indicative of, of what you're talking about right there? Yeah, you know. He, Lamette was good. Um, he threw some good pitches. You know, you just kind of battle. Every AB is a battle, you know, whether it's you're just getting one pitch and you're battling and getting that one or whether it's nine, you know, it, it's, it's all a grind and you're just trying to do what you can. Thank you. Thank you. Next question for Mario Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Corey, um, you're a guy that used the, the video room a lot in uh, previous years, and you guys don't have access to that this year. I'm just wondering, I mean, you're scoring everything up anyway, so I'm just wondering what kind of impact that has on you, how that sort of changes your routine um, for yourself. You know, it, it has a huge impact, um, whether you're going good or bad. You know, you, you like to just kind of see where pitches were, where you thought they were, where they actually are. You know, even in zone, you know, you, you sometimes get confused and just checking on little – set up things and little corrections that you would normally make throughout the game. You know, you're not really able to, you're, you're kind of having to rely on a lot more feel this year. So it's, it's, it's definitely been a battle. Is it, um, is there anything to the fact you mentioned it's more of a feel is, can that be a good thing? Maybe you're not thinking too much, you're just going out there and seeing it and hitting it. Yeah, you know, it absolutely can. Um, it's definitely a catch 22, you know, it, it's good and bad, but you, you definitely rather have the resource than not have it for sure. And what do you guys, what do you have? I guess sort of replacing that. Do you have anything that you're sort of using? 
Um, no, we don't have any video before, uh, during game. So once it, once it starts, you're done. You know, we have our, we have our iPads that go through the pictures and show what they throw, but there's nothing in game like on ourselves. Cool. Thank you, man. Yep. Thank you. Next question from JP Hornstra. Go ahead, JP. Hey, Corey, with the time off that you have between the end of spring training and the beginning of summer camp, I know a lot of different guys took a lot of different approaches, but for you, is there anything that you did during that time that you specifically attribute the success you've had this season to doing during that layoff? Um, you know, you know, I never stopped. Um, I kept working out. I kept hitting. I kept throwing. I, I tried to stay as baseball ready as possible. Um, I ran in cleats. I did a lot of running, you know, just a lot of things to kind of emulate as much as you can to the game as possible without being in the game. So just probably not stopping and not taking any break and just kind of moving on through like a normal year. So how, how crazy did it get? Were you like running on sidewalks and cleats or, or what are we talking about there? No, no, no. I, I, I mean, we, we got out here to the stadium pretty quick. So like I got to run bases, I got to take ground balls and cleats. I warmed up in cleats. So I just, I tried to stay as, as baseball ready as possible. Okay. You, do you went straight from Arizona to LA? Yeah, I came straight to LA. Okay. Thanks, Corey. 